There's a 19th century fort at Tung Chung, North Lantau. Today, a popular hiking trail starts nearby at Tung Chung Bay, along which you can see coastal scenery, temples, wildlife, and rocks dating from the age of the dinosaurs. The Tung O ancient trail is over 10 kilometers long and links Tung Chung with Tai O on the west coast. The first attraction you will see is the Hao Wang Temple. You don't have to directly head along the trail from start to finish. You can turn off at times, like here at Tung Chung Bay, to enjoy the mangroves and the life that inhabits them. Fiddler crabs may swarm on the mudflats just below the mangrove area. People come out and dig for clams. From the bridge by the bay, it's about 30 or 40 minutes to reach Santau. You can record wildlife species you see in iNaturalist and put bird lists in eBird. From Santau, the trail turns north away from the bay. It's perhaps another 40 minutes to reach Shalo One. Or you can ride a ferry from Tung Chung to Shalo One. The well-maintained Ba Kong Temple and Tin Hao Temple are next to the Shalo Wan Rural Office. Nearby, you might find butterflies sipping mineral-rich water. Fiddler crabs must always be on the lookout for predators, like reef egrets, also known as reef herons. A viewpoint on a low hill affords a superb view across the airport. The Dragon King overlooks the bay. Across a stream, here's the Thousand Mile Eyes. These statues were built for two art festivals at Shalo One. Visit two huge camphor trees on the hillside above and you get a glimpse of what it might have been like in the subtropical forests of Hong Kong's past. Leaving Shala Wan, it's less than half an hour to reach Sham Shek Chun. Then you can take a diversion around 10 minutes to San Shek Wan and enjoy coastal scenery. The trail turns southwest now towards Shamwat, perhaps another 30 or 40 minutes away. One way hikers can support places along the trail is by being eco-tourists, maybe buying some local produce or refreshments. Here too, there are mud flats at low tide and locals may dig for clams.
In early spring, a cotton tree is a riot of red flowers, attracting birds that drink the nectar. By late spring, the flowers are gone, and seeds born on cotton-like fibers drift around. The trail crosses an attractive creek and turns to the right towards Taiyo. There's a side trail here, a good option if you'd like to see the rosy rocks of Hung Fan Shek and a little more wildlife. These are among the oldest rocks on Lantau, formed in the Jurassic period when floods surged across an alluvial plain. It's another hour and a half to Tayo. Leaving Shamwat, the path tunnels through bamboo groves, then climbs to a hillside, affording some of the finest views along the trail. With boulders for steps and rough stretches, here it really seems like an ancient trail. The ancient trail dips down and follows the shoreline. With luck, you may catch a fine sunset across the Pearl River. And the trail reaches journey's end at Tayo, which is famed for its houses on stilts.